welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound channel and the second video in the series all about Project 920 DIY modular analog synth. In this video I'm going to be taking a closer look at the power supply and the passive modules that that will be the low pass gates, the patch bay and the Vactrol VCA. Um, if you're interested in the concept behind this particular modular system then go and check out the previous video which was basically an overview of uh, how it came about, what's in there and a little demo of some of the things that it can do. But now what we're starting to do is, is have a look in a, a little bit more detail at, at what's under the hood. Oops, talking of under the hood, I've taken the back off so that we can actually see this. I'll do a more close-up view so you can see things in detail, but um, you can probably see it from this video that uh, the power supply has got a, a kind of a distribution system on there as well. So I'll, I'll have a look at you know what I've used to build the power supply. Um, we'll have a look at some of the issues around in including a battery and then look at how I've chosen to distribute that power and get it out to the non-passive or rather active modules that are in the synth. But for now, yeah, let's move in and have a little closer look. Here we are a little closer up with the back off the box. What I'm going to show you here is, is the uh, <coughs> distribution system I use. Obviously, the thing at the front here is the battery supply, which goes to the uh, via the selector switch into the uh, distribution board there. There is a, a diode in here for polarity protection so if you put the battery in the wrong way around it won't work there's also um, polarity protection on the uh, regulator circuit um, I'll show you the regulator circuit in a, a little bit more detail in, in a moment um, but basically the output from that also goes via the switch to the distribution board now on the distribution board what I'm using is uh, um, header pins, circuit board header pins to uh, uh, are on the on the board, and then to connect, I've got these jumper cables that simply plug on to the pins. Now, the problem with these is that you can plug them in either way around. Um, they're, they're not polarized in terms of the actual plug itself but I rely on a little bit of common sense in that the distribution boards are marked with a red and black stripe red being positive black being negative and each of the active panels their uh, power sockets are marked red and black so hopefully using a little bit of common sense you can get things the right way around um, yeah looking a little bit closer in on the uh, the regulator board let's have a look at the power on that it's actually the same design that I used in the original project 9 the main difference being is that the 7809 regulator, I've used there the 9 volt regulator, is a TO220 um, package, which means it's it's the ones that are kind of a, a flat slab with the tab for a, um, um, a heat sink, although I've not bothered with a heat sink. Um, and then in the original design, it was kind of something that looked a little bit, I don't think you can see that, looked a little bit more like standard transistor the difference being is that that this one will actually handle a little bit more current than the other one but other than that the circuit is exactly the same layout so if you look at 
a close-up of what the uh, regulator board looks like. That looks like this. As you can see, very few components on there at all. Um, the, the the circuit, the, the actual basic regulator circuit, is the voltage regulator and two capacitors. Um, like I said, the only difference is that um, it, it's the diff it's the same regulator. It's just different packaging and a slightly higher current. Okay, um, that's pretty much the the power distribution. It, it really is very very simple. Looking at the passive modules, we start with the one directly above the power supply. That is the low pass gate. Um, it's a form of um, VCA, well, it's a Vactrol VCA. Um, it has a passive low pass filter built in, which is what the board at the top there is. And then you've got a, a Vactrol here. Um, which actually uses a, a, a red LED and a light dependent resistor LDR. If we have a look at the circuit in a little bit more detail, this is it close up. So you can see there's there's not many components there at all. The board basically houses the passive low pass filter and then everything else is wired directly to the sockets and then there's a um, an LED that will actually it, it shows you the CV signal coming in it'll, it's an indicator for the CV signal as well as being part of the filter loop so yeah it's kind of uh, a little bit of a, a passive VCA system with a bit of filtering built in Okay, sticking with that theme, if we look at this panel here, or this module here, that is a the Vactrol VCA. So it's pretty much a similar design to what we've just seen on, on the low-pass gate. Um, the difference is it, it uses a, I use a, a bright white LED in my Vactrols. Um, there's no filtering on this either and but I, I do have a voltage divider on the CV input so you can actually back off the um, CV input what you know, the, the the CV level that's coming in in, in close-up it looks a uh, um, like this so there's no circuit board with this one everything is just soldered to each other as it's mounted on the panel I make the Vactrols myself using um, LEDs, light dependent resistors um, and heat shrink tubing and it, it seems to work for me. Okay so that, that's that's the low pass gate and the Vactrol VCA. If you want to see more detail as to what the circuits look like and how I put them together then these are exactly the same as the ones I built in project 12 so I'll put a link up for the video that talks about these in my project 12 series the third of the passive modules is this one here and so what we're looking at there is is the back of the uh, patch board which really it's nothing clever it's just a whole load of sockets all joined together. Look at it a little bit more close up. You can see it is literally just that sockets on a panel wired together. But the way I've wired this one, the tip terminal or the positive terminal of the top input socket is connected to the switch terminal on the bottom input socket. What this means is that if you plug something into the top input, then 
it will be distributed across all six of the outputs or it will be available on all six of the outputs as soon as you plug something into the bottom input it breaks that switch connection and so now you have two times one by three patch bays so the top socket is shared between the top three outputs and the bottom input socket is shared between the bottom three outputs so you've got a, an option if you basically just want to connect half a dozen things together then you can just use one of the input sockets if you want to have start sharing different signals then you can plug into the second socket and you've got two times one by three and that pretty much covers the power supply the power distribution and the passive modules that are in Project 920. Well that's a relatively brief look at the power system and its power distribution and the passive modules that are in Project 920. I haven't given a great deal of detail in terms of uh, circuit diagrams and strip board layouts because all of those have been built before. I have given links to the videos that cover those in, in more detail. I will be talking about the some of the active modules in the next video but for now if you want to start with a, a power supply and a, and a few passive modules then yeah follow the links go on have a go build your own <laughs>